el negro que te la hace con el que tú lo dura el fuerte de lo fuerte. Y vinimos con el amiguito de nosotros. La boy. boy. Él acaba de decir que va a sacar a Leandro Ball de UCLA. Que va, no. Que ya, ya lo sacó. Ya lo sacó. Y había sacado al más joven del liceo y lo tiene en home tour. Vamos, vamos a ir a la parte de padre. ¿Usted creen como padre él está tomando las decisiones correctas para el futuro de sus hijos? ¿Y por qué? Defíneme futuro. ¿Futuro en basquetbol? O futuro, futuro? futuro de los hijos. Si tú quieres hablar de futuro en basquetbol, si tú quieres hablar de futuro en futuro. Yo digo que no. ¿Por qué? Porque... You cut them short. How? You go to... Yes, you could get homeschooled, but when you're around others, there's so much that you learn. Okay. Whether it's things to say, what not to say, what to do, what not to do. Communication skills. Communication okay. skills, you're going to have none. Well, they're just going to go on a team, they're going to be that one awkward kid on the team. So does it do? Unless they do. Doing, that's the only communication is going to be basketball. That's it. They're not going to know anything else but basketball. So you think that him him taking him, uh, the young one out of out of out of high school to be home tutored, you think this is a a a shortening of his um, experience as a, as an individual, as growing as a person? Yes, um, okay. Yeah. And well, going back to that, like his brother got the whole experience too. Like he went to college, made it to the NBA. Like it's a process, you know. They gotta go through that process, you know. Yeah, like it's a, it's a process that's been this and like over history. And he's like trying to change that. In a way, like, he's trying to do it his like he, way. Yeah, like he's trying to make it. He's trying to do it his way. Like but at the everybody same time, kept saying, like he pretty much set every little step where his, his son was going. Like you can learn from being the homeschool, but that's why people get paid to teach you these things. You know, like this teacher is doing their job. You know? I mean, I don't, I don't see it wrong, yeah. honestly. What he did. Why not? It's just something I wouldn't do. Because the reason why is there were it's three brothers. Well, I, everybody knows them. So the little one, like, he's already a star. He already shows signs that he's going to be better than the other two. And he's just a junior now. Okay. So he got all his celebrity shit going on. When he's, like, the favorite out of the three. All right. So he's already a celebrity, like a big celebrity. So you take him away from all the whatever attention that's gonna drag to him because he's so young. I respect that God. That was what I was gonna say, cause um he if he would have <laughs> stayed in school, it would have been more of a distraction for him, even for school and basketball, than what it is to be at home. I'm talking about for the little one. Why you say that? Because he, he is too famous. He's famous as fuck. Like he is he really, got too, really too much really, he has really too much famous. juice. He is, and it's not yeah. unless he's going to school and he's actually like he everything's going fine like grades and all that like you know if everything's going how it's supposed to go then yeah leave him in school but you're gonna have to bring security to school yeah that's what like, I'm saying like, or, he move, has or to take him like, to take him to a school that is one of those rich top notch school yeah. everybody's, everybody's like famous yeah that everybody that that's their normal living okay because yeah, there's so, so much. Wait, wait, I'm not, I wasn't done. God. We're talking about Leangelo, though. The reason I think that it was a good idea to take him out of UCLA, not school in general, but just UCLA, is because you could just put him in another school and make him go to the school and play basketball and keep going to school. Because the thing is, he's not suspended for the NCAA. He's just suspended in UCLA. So the thing is, he could if he could just transfer him to another school, which is too late because obviously the semester is like halfway done. But so the, why take him out? I know, but the because the, still cause, wait a season for I know, too. but but I'm saying like the reason that he took him out is because their goal as a family is not just Lavar, it's just the family, his mom, their the kids, the cousins, the, the, whole, the whole family wants all three of them to get to the NBA as soon as they can. You know what I'm so saying? So now do you? But, but let me finish. Let me finish. And I think the reason he took him out is to see if he could play somewhere else that is a professional like league or some shit, and make him play that year, that the rest of the year that's left, make him play basketball because you really don't really need to go to college 
if he's going to be playing basketball, which is recommended for him at least to play to go to college at least four years. Because his basketball. I agree not there. to that. But, but do you? <clears throat> but the thing is, do you think that's that's the best method of it? Because he says how you look he, he, it. He, he says that he can prepare his son better than you should lay could prepare him for the for draft. For basketball, yeah. If that's what he thinks, then that's I mean, fine. he's the one that coached them the whole time. He's the one that got them that good. He's the one that coached them how to play. He's the, he's been their coach the whole time. So so what you're trying to say is that Lavar Ball can train somebody to be better of a player than you should like him. I'm not saying they, 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 that he's is, saying that he can do that with his but son. He believes he could do not it with his with sons. Not not with and players. then again, this is again his opinion. Yeah. Right now, it's obvious that there's something in between the two parties, which is him and the coaches. It's not. It's not. It's so, and you know how he is. Everything he says is like, like up there. Like, Do you think he overhypes his kids? Uh, he. Oh, you know. It's probably the way he raised them too. You know. He definitely he overhypes. No, he doesn't overhype because he's, he's not hyping them. He he's just, just bragging. Him. Yeah, he believes them. So he's bragging. Yeah, that's he's bragging that my kids are that's good. That's what he believes. But he doesn't hype People them. People overhyped him because he's saying my kids are good. He's saying I believe yes. my he's saying I believe my kids could be anybody. I believe my kids could be anybody. Wow. Personal opinion. Yeah, yeah, that's me. Wow, his kids are just staying yeah, shit. Like they're, 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 his kids do not say anything. And the loud mouth is the little one, he doesn't say anything. If you put yeah. a mic in his mouth, like he's a loud mouth with his friends, but the moment you go, Oh, so what do you think about your dad doing this and this and this? And my dad thinks he could do it, he could do it. Like that. Yeah. Nah, shit. I, I don't know. I, so I, they I think, seem like quiet boys. My thing is, I, I, I feel like the, the hype that's coming along with these kids, and especially for the young woman, I wouldn't want this, but I feel like he's going to fall short to what the expectation is. Who's going to fall short? The little one? I don't think so. Lonzo might. Was it? Yes. Well, but like, if Lonzo. they come down the line, he, he doesn't make it to the NBA. They're going to... It's gonna come down. Oh, baby, he shouldn't have done that, right? Uh, here's, here's what I say. What I say to that is that what I believe is that if he doesn't get hurt or decides to just stop playing, okay, he's making. He's making it. He's making it. That's not happening. One. That's the little reason. One because basketball is a business. He already brings business. Yeah. Him, himself, his presence just brings business. Exactly. That's number one. Number two, he is not bad. The little one is. He, when he was small, he was fucking niggas up, like big niggas. He was just like, oh. Like, and and here, the here's the thing that yeah. the oldest one said, Lonzo. Lonzo said that he knows that Melo's going to be good and better than him because Lonzo's older and he Melo was always able to keep up. He always kept up they played playing the older guys. When, when Lonzo so and that's how you know. That's why he's saying that that's how he knows that he's going to be better than them. Yeah, when Lonzo and, Le- and Leandro were playing with 13-year-olds, Lamelo was just around 9, 7, right? And he was playing in their team. Nine, yeah, 9, 8. Yeah, 9, 8, but 8. And he, was playing, and he was playing in their team like nothing, like it was normal. So that's why he's saying he might be better. My my only concern with him is the same concern they had with Lonzo is that he's gonna be too skinny when he gets into the NBA, so he's not gonna transfer as fast. And the moment he gets to the NBA and that his body grows, then after that he's gonna and be it's gonna be the same way the spotlight's gonna be on him. Man. How, yeah, how like old Lonzo. Is, how old is Lonzo? Lonzo's 20? twenty. Yeah, Lonzo's twenty. Give Lonzo till he's twenty. Twenty two. I give twenty two, twenty three. You can be nasty. Do you think he has to change his shooting style? No, I don't think so. He might have he might have to readjust sometimes. But if that's the shot that he has, another shot might you know, not work for him. You know you know what I that's you know, the shot that that's, that's the shot that's the, that you've been you know, doing that your whole life. You know what you know what I'm you seeing? You could adjust, do something different instead of like coming from here, do it more like kind of like a little just, here. Yeah. I mean, just just that little thing is it makes a difference. You know what you know what I I think it is because when he was in UCLA, he wouldn't stop and then shoot. He would just and now oh, he's yeah, stopping. Yeah. And it looked like shoot. he had the ball here and just went like that. Yeah, he's now he, looks now like he's, he goes like, he's this. like he freezes and then he goes if he just because it's not flowing anymore. He's just like back in the day it was like just catch and shoot. Shoot. Yeah. Here, la, 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 you know. And people were like, oh, he's not going to get it off. He's getting it off. He hasn't gotten a block from three. 
That was a concern. Though. So, I don't know. I, I just think that taking him out of school isn't a smart move. I, I think there's a lesson behind his his um, benching. Um, and he wasn't projected to start. So, I, I think... I think he should. I mean, I don't know how many games it was exactly that he was going to be benched for. That's, that was the problem with LeVar. That's what LeVar was saying because it says indefinitely. If he would, they would have told him, oh, it's the whole season. He would have just taken him out in the beginning, put him in another school. You know what I'm saying? But they said indefinitely. So he, they don't even know. So he was like, my son is going to be wasting time for what our plan as a family is. Because the, even the kids know. They, like, if you ask them, their plan is. We're going to play basketball, get to the NBA, and we're all going to be in the Lakers. That, that's their plan. Yeah, they all want to play for that, the Lakers. That's a last plan for the Lakers, though. Because, you know what I mean? That's going to be a problem. You know why? Because if, can, if it happens, they know how to play. By the time Lonzo is. 22? No, no. By the time Lonzo, for all three of them to be on, there needs to be three more years. Lonzo's going to be 24, 25. The other one's going to be 21, 22. And the other one's going to be 19, right. 20. The only problem is going to be the 21-22. My que- my That's going to be the weak one. But my question yeah, but not- they're gonna, I think they're going to use him like they but use But my question to you is, play. are the are the Lakers going to pick him? That's some, of the, that's some of the problem. Pero, pero, pero. You know what I'm trying to say? Pero, comprende. Uh, if, Damn, nigga, I forgot we was on camera. Shit. It's uh, good. Nah, nigga, like, that show is like... I wouldn't have said that shit on camera. What the fuck? It's <laughs> good, <laughs> <laughs> The if Leandro gets into the G League, so he goes undrafted. I'm gonna see. He's in the G League and that under like D one, like like double A, A, double A in baseball. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If he gets into the Lakers team in the G League, they could just bring him up and down, up and down, up and down until they think he's ready. So that's that's a year that they don't have to pay him a lot of money. He's just up and down, up and down, up and down. So they're not even they're not even wasting money on him. They're gonna be he's gonna be playing for free pretty much. Yeah. So they're like up and down, up and down. Yeah, yeah. You're on the team. Yeah, yeah. So that's that's the way that Leandro will get in there. Lamelo, Lamelo is. I'm telling you, if he grow, cause I see him, he's scrawny. He has like small shoulders. If out of nowhere, this nigga just goes, mm-hmm. he say, "Hi, Chico, come Nigga, the end, the, end of, the end of last season, yeah, he was putting a dunk. Now he's now windmilling, he's nigga. Windmilling. How old is Melo? He, huh? Oh, Melo, seventeen, sixteen, sixteen. Yeah, cause he got he, 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 he got skipped the grade. He got skipped the grade to and play with him. So to play with Lonzo and So he could play with him with his brothers. No, but he was um. He just turned 16, didn't he? Yeah, he just turned 16, like, right, like, in September. And he went from 5'6". In, in, in a year. In a year. In a year, he went from 5'6 to 6'6". God, yeah. damn. But que leche que le están dando a muchachos. All three of them are 6'6". Six, six. He committed to UCLA at 14. LaVar is 6'6", six, six, too. Bueno. Eh, los hijos míos, atención. La leche mía, atención. Necesito que me dé tres muchachos así mismo. Seis, seis, los tres. Y que estén ready para jugar pelota. Y que jueguen para los llamados. Seis, seis. Seis, seis. Los tres, son los seis, tres, seis, seis. Que yo quiero. ¿De dónde van a salir? Yo no sé. Lanzo, seis, seis. Seis, seis. ¿Cuánto es? Y Ángelo, seis, seis. Seis, cinco, por ahí. ¿Y, ¿Y cuánto es más? Seis, seis. Seis, seis. Y los barrios tienen seis, seis. Y la no, mamá, bro, la mamá tiene seis. Es más grande, ¿cuál va a ser? Eh, los malos. Pero está bien, yo, oye, like six, seven, yo me conformo con tener tres. Oye, yo me conformo con tener tres. Yo, yo me conformo con tener tres. 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 Yo me conformo con tener tres.